Greetings, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Yes, girl. She's back in the office, okay? We're going to talk about the planets. Mercury retrograde is happening August 23rd until September 14th, and it will be taking place in the sign of Virgo. Y'all know how these reasons go. You don't have to have Mercury and Virgo to be up in here, but your sun or your Mercury could be in an air sign or one of the air sign houses, 3rd, 7th, and the 11th. Check the chart, girl. You know I'm doing readings for that now, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you to everybody who's been booking a birth chart reading with me so far, but I am now. All from birth chart readings, um, pricing and contact information to book one uh, with me is in the description box down below, as well as my other reading options. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please do those sorts of things because it gives me a little traction, okay? And I appreciate that. So what is Mercury Retrograde and the Sign of Virgo all about? Now, when you are an individual that has Mercury in Virgo, you tend to be very picky, selective perfectionist about how you want certain things in your life to be right so when mercury is retrograde in the sign of virgo now's the time for you to fix things um attend to things that need your attention okay kind of like a little bit of a tidy up energy excuse me air signs what we're gonna do is pull one weekly oracle message card to see what your overall energy is going to be with this mercury retrograde and then we're going to do a spread for you okay spirit guys how is this mercury retrograde in the sign of virgo affecting all air signs august 23rd until september 14th in the year 2023 i'm gonna be honest with you air signs i don't know if it's a little quiet around your way but you don't you don't you don't feel too high you know with fire and earth i felt a little you know pizzazz okay that could be why. That could be why. Easy to, easy to. In my trace songs was, Earth signs, is this you? Are you the karmic or are you dealing with the karmic? Is a karmic around you? What's in the bottom? Well, girl, let's find out. Pay attention to the signs. You know, anybody can be a karmic partner. It don't just start, stop it, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. You can't have a friend that's a karmic, a parent that's a karmic, a sibling that's a karmic, a co-worker, a manager, a neighbor, okay? It's anyone, um, anyone around you that's going to unfairly take from you okay and you have to learn a lesson with dealing with this type of individual learn a lesson on how you need to deal with this type of individual okay and sometimes dealing with someone is not dealing with them at all bars okay so air signs my question again is there one around you or are you it okay Spirit guys, how is this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting all air signs? August 23rd until September 14th in the year 2023. Earth signs had this as their first card too. So maybe you need to go check out their reading. Tower. So you could have Mars in an air sign with the Six of Pentacles. Good googly moogly. Why girl? Why the monies? Okay, so heads up. You heard it here first. Okay, breaking news my niggas. Air sign, some of y'all might have some sort of um, unexpected debt, fine, penalty, or fee that you got to pay. All right? It's like somebody call you, somebody email, somebody leave a voicemail. You're like, girl, what? Okay, you dropped the teapot and everything. Hot. Okay, you are heated. Not in a good way. Not no Beyonce. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Um... <laughs> where my money okay it's like someone here owes you money and they're not picking up the phone they done blocked you uh like i said you gotta uh, pay some sort of unexpected fee fine penalty um or with the ten of swords hello gemini you just realizing that someone here is not worth the trouble that they cause six of cups it could be a past connection past love connection i'm seeing the lovers card or just some um outdated relationship some of y'all it could be with a fire water or earth sign uh not yeah earth sign individual aries sagittarius scorpio scorpio is very strong by the way scorpio is very strong but it could be any water sign 
It's like somebody here is not worthy. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the King of Cups. It's like almost asking, what is this person? I hate to say it. What is this person raising the table? What is this person doing for you? Nothing. Or doing just enough. Oh, Lord. Oh. Spirit, guys, how is this? How is Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting all air signs August 23rd until September 14th in the year 2023? The wheel of fortune, a lot of major arcana. So some of y'all could have Jupiter in an air sign with the king of swords. Hello, man. Yeah, um, I mean, unless you want to go round eight in another fucked up cycle, some of y'all, it is time for you to leave some sort of, like I said, cycle alone. Hi, ladies. Oh, Are you serious? King of Swords, Empress, and the Seven of Swords. I'm seeing a few different scenarios. Air signs, you need to be careful about going back to what you know. Going back to a certain situation that, you know, has you repeating, like I said, a certain uh, cycle. Um, I see some trash-ass air signs out here. Just saying. King of Swords, Empress, and the Seven of Swords. Not to be trusted. A little fraudulent. Okay. Or just known to do dirt. No, I was about to say known to be dirty. But I get more like a seven of swords for me. It's like, no, nah, girl, I wouldn't try. I wouldn't leave my pocketbook around you, girl. I wouldn't leave shit. I wouldn't leave shit around you. Okay, I wouldn't leave in my house. I wouldn't let you know anything. Okay, or dirty. Um. Or, <laughs> got lost for a minute. Or, air signs, you need to be careful about some. There's somebody you shouldn't trust. There's somebody or something you shouldn't trust. King of Swords and the Seven of Swords. It's giving timeshare. Okay? 15 payments of $59.99 type shit. Okay? So, I need to be careful about getting roped into a fucked up contract. Like, nine of wands. It's like, you got to be able to be like, no. Okay? Um, Or, you know, what's it? What is it? What is it? I'm trying to think of like um whenever y'all go get a car wash y'all know when you can get like some little add-ons put on rather than just a regular car wash this is a little bit more aggressive though it's like you um going with an oil change okay and our niggas is like you know girl let's go ahead and get you a new hood girl why would i need that i just need the oil change okay some of y'all need to be not stubborn but firm in telling people uh, what you want, okay, what you um, can't do, right? I'm here, don't be coerced or don't be uh, tricked into, you know, getting something or doing something. I keep, I'm, and I'm hearing for someone. So, here, guys, how is this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting? All air signs, August 23rd until September 14th in the year 2023. Four of Cups with the Six of Wands. Hmm. If you want to be successful um, at certain things, air signs, some of you guys with the Four of Cups have to get out of this. I'm going to say it, girl, this lazy energy. This is like laziness, okay? She's just sitting there, and I'm pretty sure she got shit to do. Uh, the Four of Cups is an apathy card. It's either about longing for something, uh, not really giving a fuck, okay? Or like I said, being lazy. Some of y'all with the Tower card is self-destructive. Um, whenever you just sit there and don't do what you need to do, it's self-destructive for you. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Death card. Some of y'all say that you want a new beginning. You want new things in your life. You want to be able to do certain shit. But with the Four of Cups, you're just sitting there. No disrespect. No disrespect at all. You're, you're, you're in a safe space, okay? You're in the chair right now. Ace of Swords and the Death card. Certain things will have to be given up. You will have to cut certain things out, okay? Six of Wands, like I said, if you want to be successful, it's like you got to give up fucked up ways of doing things, fucked up things, okay, specifically things, right? If, Will of Fortune, you want to move forward in life, you want to move on to the next cycle, like you want to start stop repeating shit, okay? Mm. Got some of my news, all right? Oh, your signs, if this isn't you, because technically it's not really your energy. I see somebody that you cut off, six of wands, eight of swords, and death card. 
give him thanks. Literally, that was the, the greatest thing for you. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, and Death card. Ever since you decided to part ways with something, not look back in regards to something, just cut something off entirely. It's like cutting something off cold turkey, okay? It keep popping. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. King of Swords, Seven of Swords, Empress and the Nine of Wands. It's like you knew you were being taken advantage of. You knew you were being lied to. You knew you were being bamboozled. You knew you were being tricked. And now with the Ace of Swords and the Death card, you was like, I washed my hands of it, okay? Um, like I said, some of y'all, is a policy, a contract, um, a place, a job, a situation, or a person. Now, some people will, you know, just be like, hey, girl, I don't feel like finding something new. So, I'll be, you know, taking advantage of, lied to. Spirit, guys, how is this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting? Because they're complacent. Affecting all air signs. It's almost, I, I brought this up multiple times in my readings today, okay? Go watch They Clone Tyrone, okay? But it's giving that. Okay, um, I don't want to give too much away, right? Because this is it's a lot of twists and turns, okay? Um, let me just say this. Is someone here realizing what's wrong in their life, in their world with the four cups? They're like too complacent to do anything about it. So here guys, House of Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting all air signs August 23rd to September 14th in the year 2020. Six of Swords with the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Some of y'all, this was a person. Uh, air signs, this could have been a situation with a water or a fire sign individual uh somebody here wasn't worth the trouble that they brought in your life ace of swords queen of cups and the star card with the knight of swords it's like yeah knight of swords and the five of cups ever since i started dealing with you being involved with you my life is, has been trash <laughs> My life has been trash. Queen of Cups, the Five of Cups. This for me is what happens whenever you deal with someone here that has a lot of unresolved trauma, unhealed trauma. They know about it and they're not doing anything about it. It's different whenever someone is still like working through things. They're not aware of it. But this person isn't ignorant to the things they need to fix about themselves. They start fucking with you and that shit starts spilling over in, in your territory. Now, I ain't saying that you're perfect. Okay, it says, I ain't saying that you perfect, but it's like, with the Six of Swords coming out, I see you are able to detach a lot more from certain things. This person tends to hold on to shit, and I don't think you, you can deal with that, okay? Sure, guys, how is Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting all air signs August 23rd until September 14th in the year 2023? Three of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. Now, some of y'all is in regards to your personal life. You need to make a change today to look up and taking the pain away, okay? Uh, four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. If you're tired of your current situation, your current circumstance, Six of Swords and the Three of Wands, move on from it, Okay? page of pentacles some of y'all this is job relocation um really committing to a certain financial venture or a goal okay i'm um, with the eight of swords some of y'all are like girl, i don't know where to go left right up down horizontal vertical diagonal i don't know i don't know which direction to head in to be uh, successful. Well, for one, with the King of Swords, Death Card, and the Moon Card, some of y'all got to get out your mind. I feel like some of y'all feel like you need to be at the right place, right time, right sun, right building, right watch, right shirt. Okay? It's like you feel like everything has to be perfect in order for you to start shit or um, um, move on from things. And it's like, no, girl, you just need to put something into action. Okay? Get off your ass. Is what I'm seeing with the four of cups too. Okay. Also. So guys, how is Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting all air signs? August 23rd until September 14th in the year 2023. 
Nine of Pentacles, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. And some of y'all, this is with yourself. It's like, okay, girl, if you want better for your life, if you want to do new things in your life, if you want to experience shit, okay, like I said, if you want to move out of old, outdated cycles, death. Let's start putting some endings to shit. Let's start moving. Let's start relocating. Let's start changing the ways that we do things. Moon card, Knight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Uh, now, I'm going to be honest with air sign. Some of y'all know some of the things that I'm already talking about. There could be a certain inconsistency that you know that you have about yourself. Um, a certain commitment problem that you have about yourself. It's not just in regards to, like, relationships. It's just with the Knight of Swords, you get easily distracted. You're not the, the, the most organized individual. I'm not coming at you. I just want you to understand that. Okay, because I want you to be sitting here like, is, uh, is this a bash? Is this a bashing reading? No, it's not. I just see your potential. Okay? The star card and the will of fortunes come out. You are destined for greatness, literally. All right? But you're holding your own self back by still, you know, hanging around these people. <laughs> still engaging in certain patterns and or behaviors. Spirit, guys, how is this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting all air signs? August 23rd until September 14th in the year 2023. Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. Uh, some know that they don't want to be a part of a certain family unit anymore, whether this is not wanting to deal with certain family members or not wanting to be in a certain relationship with someone that they have a child, uh, with, or they built a life with. Okay. Um, tower card, they see the signs that it's not working out. Six of swords, they know that they want to move on with the eight of swords. It's like someone here feels trapped. They don't know how to get out of it. Okay. Uh, but with the three of wands and the four, it's it's like <sighs> on one side they feel trapped. On another side, they don't feel like doing all all that you know is necessary or what it takes. It's it's almost like. It's almost like someone would rather be handed the opportunity to move on from something rather than you know what I'm saying, getting a little bit uncomfortably. Okay. No disrespect, girl. I'm Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay, uh, eight minus six equals two of swords. Spirit, guys, how is this Mercury retrograde in the sign of, ooh, okay, strength with the six of cups? Yeah, girl. You know, it's like, girl, you, I'm, I'm, I'm about to say, little, you're a little jelly, a little flabby. I was, I was trying to do that with my arms. Um, you need to get in the gym, okay? You need to tighten up, okay? Some of y'all need to tighten up in regards to certain things in your life, all right? Some of y'all, this is about losing weight. Just clown myself, girl. It's fine, okay? Honestly, I'm at the, I'm the biggest I've ever been. Um, when I was younger, I was overweight. Then I, then I was slim for a few years. Now I didn't gain the weight back. And I'm like, I don't mind the weight gain. I prefer the weight gain from me being a uh, slim. Okay, I didn't like me when I was slim. I got too big of a head. I need everything else to, you know, be blown up like like my head. Okay. Um, but I do want to tighten up a few things. I be in the gym, but I be in the gym inconsistently. I have recently gotten a membership, girl. Okay. So I'm hoping that me paying for the shit is like, well, and I need the shit to be 24 hours. Okay. I, I become a real caring whenever it comes to the fitness center in my uh, neighborhood. I know you motherfuckers is giving out your code to people that don't even live here. So you got people in the fitness center that don't know gym etiquette. They leaving weights. You got your kids in there. I don't want your kids in there while I'm trying to work out, girl. And they looking at me and staring at me. That's just fucking weird. Okay. When I was saying in Nashville, okay, when I was saying in Nashville, the fitness center, you had to have a key card. And if you lost it, girl, it was like, I think, 60-something dollars to replace. And it was 24 hours. But that kept the right people in it, the, the actual residents, okay? When you just got a fucking cold, you can get out to anybody and anybody just walk in. And I don't appreciate that because I pay to live here. It ain't all that. Anyway, <laughs> but it's like that. 
It's like knowing that you need to tighten up in regards to certain things, but it could just be more of like a consistent energy from you. It's like you can't feel this way one day and then be off at the next and then be back on it the day after that and then, you know, back off at the day after that, okay? You know, strength is about commitment, okay? Like, you know, I, I will survive type shit. <laughs> Last card, spirit guys. How is this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Virgo affecting... All air signs, August 23rd until September 14th in the year 2023. Emperor. Hi, man. You know what, man? I don't like that you coming out like this. Emperor. It could be the ladies, too, because there's a woman in this card. Um, yeah, I'm hearing it because girls is players, too, with the seven of swords here. Oh, okay. I don't know which. I can't remember whether it was the red or blue pill, but you need to be careful about voluntarily uh, staying plugged in to a certain situation. Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Page of Cups. It's like you trying to fool yourself into believing that you're happy, but you're not. Okay. I'm happy. It's like it's like that. Like, why are you lying to us? Right? <laughs> it's like no, you're bored. You're complacent. You don't want to do anything else. Uh, I was about to say Aquarius. But it makes sense because Seven of Swords is here. But air signs, specifically Aquarius, you need to be careful about being in this sort of energy. Whether it be you staying with someone you don't really fuck with like that. You staying attached to something that you don't really fuck with like that. Okay? You not making the necessary changes in life. Air signs, this was your Mercury retrograde uh, in Virgo reading. Uh, sun, Mercury, or Mars in an air sign, or Jupiter in an air sign, and some messages in here can definitely resonate with you. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if it resonates with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. Excuse me. Pricing and contact information will be in the description box down below. What time is it? To book a personal reading with me. All right. I'm going to tell you later. Bye.